Okay, uh, I've had to re-record this one a few times because I get a little too emotional and I start yelling a lot. So I'm gonna do my best to keep it even keeled on this one. Um, there's a lot of AI art stuff going on right now. Uh, you know, OpenAI's new model set off a big meme going through the internet where people were creating images, often extremely distasteful images, um, in the style of Studio Ghibli. Um, that went all the way up to uh, the highest uh, levels, at least in my country, of people using this to make, you know, what I can only describe as propaganda. And everybody has their own feelings about that. Everybody seems to feel different depending on if they're an artist or if they're someone who doesn't really care about art but just thinks this is funny and they want to do it. Okay. And within our art community, recently we've had some um, art creators, uh, specifically here on YouTube, have some dalliances with AI that set off some firestorms. And I have stayed mostly silent on these things because I did not feel that uh, there was anything special that my voice could add. Um, given that people sort of know what the raw info is around AI at this point, People have encamped, uh, entrenched themselves in particular positions, and much of what I would have added was already being um, said by others. So I haven't really chimed in, but I did want to bring this up because I haven't, at least I haven't encountered anybody else talking about this, and I think that this is gonna happen more and more. Uh, a few weeks ago, I got an email from a company called Ray, R-H-E-I, who was emailing me uh, trying to pay me for the middleman rights to use all of my YouTube content to uh, license and sell to AI companies to train models. I'll put up the email here with some key information removed so that nobody bothers anybody. Please don't bother anybody. Um, and as I'll talk about in a bit, I'm sure this is just a uh, this email was written by AI and it's just a bot. I'm sure no individual person actually planned and sent this email. But uh, I'll put up a, a screenshot, a redacted screenshot of my the email that I got here. So it's saying things like, we have an exciting opportunity for your art video library. We're investing 35 million in creators like you. You know, this will allow creators to earn revenue by allowing their videos to train the next generation of AI models. And they say that my channel, with its 500 something hours of content might be worth $52,570 with a first deal this month unlocking about $6,000. No impact on your rights, easy setup. Come on, man, give me a call. Okay, well, before I go into my feelings and thoughts about this, uh, I didn't respond to this email. So if anybody from RHEI um, is listening to this, uh, let me give you my official answer right here which um, you might wanna have your lawyers vet because I think that it could actually be uh, quite interesting contractually speaking, you know, some of the language here, um, they might be interested in including this in future contracts or maybe this could change the way that you present this information to other creators who might be interested. So yeah, just check it out. My answer is fuck you. Fuck you. And every company like you. If that's confusing, let me say, uh, hell no, absolutely not. Never, no matter what. God damn you. <laughs> Just the most thorough and complete no possible. Um, and in case there's any confusion, uh, I think that your job is making the world a worse place and that you should quit it and go do something more helpful. Ooh, does that sound moralizing or like I'm really putting myself over other people? No, we're all down here in the mud together and from one idiot to another, stop doing what you're doing. So that's my official answer. Um, if any of my art peers who have been sort of trying to get into bed with AI companies think that that sounds unwise or unsound or, oh my, Stephen, how could you ever burn a bridge to our AI overlords? How about you get out of my life and leave me alone and let me feel the way that I wanna feel and do my own thing. And if you wanna ruin your artistic integrity, your entire artistic career, and throw away everything that you've worked for to just completely debase yourself by trying to work with these people, 
you go right ahead. Give it all away. On with the story. So I got this message and I did, of course, go look into them a little bit. And in case any future creators are um, interested when they get an email like this, I just want you to know um, that you only get paid for each hour that one of their clients actively licenses your content. So when they pitched me, oh, your thing is gonna be worth $52,000, that's not some lump sum I'm going to get based off the total hours of content on my YouTube. No, that's if I sign over the entire content of my YouTube. That's its potential value if one of their clients decides to use the entire library to train an AI model and the rate changes from client to client. So some clients might have a lower rate, so they might use my entire model, but for totally opaque reasons, I would get paid less. And for other clients, I might get paid more. Who knows, that's up to them and the client. Um, also, in terms of how you're signing it over, I went and read their, uh, their terms of service. And of course, you know, I kind of expect was already expecting this, but it's always fun to find it. I'll put a screenshot of this up here, but let me read it to you. Uh, it gives them the right and license to use your content in any manner and in or on any form, method, platform, or media now known or hereafter devised throughout the universe for the purpose of the development of computer software based on or containing artificial intelligence tools. Don't you love that? Don't you love how sci-fi coded and utopian it is? Like surely our contract needs to encompass the entire universe because that is the scale of importance of what we're doing here. Um, in case it wasn't clear before, uh, RHEI, Ray, whatever you people call yourselves, uh, there's no one in the world I would want to work with less. And um, I think that you're going to find that with a lot of artists. Now, I'll be honest, when I first got this message, I kind of just didn't worry about it. Um, one, because I knew right away that I was uninterested and it was silly. And honestly, I'm seeing tons of stuff adjacent to this in the AI space these days. And two, like I said, I assume all messages like this are written by bots. I don't think an actual person sat at their desk, found my channel, looked at how many hours it is, and said, wow, we've got to send Steven an email. His content really seems like the kind of thing that our clients would love. No, no way. These are AI people, they believe in AI. They're just having a bot look through YouTube channels, add up the total hours of content, find an email that's associated with it, and then mass send a form email where they plug in various numbers. Um, I had no doubt about that. So I actually had forgotten about this for a, a long time. Um, and I bring it up now because I was recently at a party where I got to talking with someone who was also a content creator, not on YouTube, but um, she was a documentary filmmaker and she has been for a while and she has a lot of footage. And we got into a conversation uh, about artificial intelligence, sentience, and the nature of consciousness, as you do. <laughs> and um, she brought up to me that a company, I did not confirm that it was this company, I actually doubt it was, but a similar company had reached out to her with a very similar offer. And I said, whoa, me too. And we got to talking about it and she told me that she thought she would do it. And that kind of floored me because my immediate reaction upon getting this email was that not only do I not wanna do this, but I doubt basically anyone would want to. Her basic response to me in the end um, is one that I unfortunately think will be sadly common, which was, well, if I'm gonna get screwed by AI anyway, I might as well make my money off of it. I, I get the train of thought, but um, I couldn't agree. Now, her situation, she has other big factors. You know, She's making documentary footage for companies and things like that. I don't actually know if it's legal for her to license that material, and I did bring that up to her. And then we said goodbye. That was the end of me talking to her at the party. But thinking about it recently, I realized that, well, probably a lot of YouTube creators like me are going to start getting these emails, and they're going to see a big number flash in their face, and they're gonna sit and consider. 
And maybe if this was a year ago, maybe two years ago, I wouldn't have worried about it. I would have said, oh, well, they're gonna say no. You know, they're gonna think about it and they're just going to definitely feel like it's not worth it given that they're going to be basically making themselves obsolete. Um, but now, seeing the, uh, what I can only describe as foolish decisions that have been on parade by my peers over the past, um, the past year or so, um, well, I have to say that uh, I'm not sure what kind of call they would make, but I wanted to put this info out there so that um, any of them seeing it, any of them who get this email know that it shouldn't be as tempting as it seems monetarily. That's because in any situation where you made $52,000 off of it, they made way more. That's how companies work. So don't be an idiot about that. You're not making more on the deal than they are. And you're just gonna propagate this blithe system of middlemen that we have been trapped in for so long. And whether it's this or having a mid-journey account, I mean, it all gives them money and makes it easier for them to uh, continue to steal from artists all over the world and to deceive investors into thinking that they are a viable business model um, and raise more money from them to continue stealing, to continue violating copyright, to continue just trying to run the funniest, biggest scale IP scam possible before the courts bring the hammer down on their heads. And I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I think that was probably the least emotional I could manage to be talking about this one. And um, if I start going down the rabbit hole on certain topics that this then leads to, um, <clears throat> I think we might get a little more fiery. And uh, maybe we'll save that for another day. Um, so in conclusion, uh, no, no way. No way do I consent to you taking my content and I uh, don't want your money either. Um, and to all of my peers out there on YouTube, uh, don't fall for this crap. It's not gonna end well. Um, and just feel okay setting your shoulders back and fighting against this kind of stuff. I know that things are very confusing online right now, and there's a lot of people trying to trick each other into thinking that there's some sort of gray area here. There isn't. Artists of the world, if this wasn't your fight, what is? I can't believe that people are confused about this. I can't honestly cannot believe that some of my fellow artists think, oh, maybe this isn't a fight, you know? I'll just roll over like a dog and let the wolf sniff my crotch. If this wasn't your fight, what is? If protecting the dignity of human-made art and the spiritual progress that people go through on the artistic journey against the encroachment of automating machine art is not your fight, what do you think it is? What fight do you think is coming for the love of God? And if you're not gonna do something, right, then don't just justify to yourself, well, I'm not gonna do something, so I have the position where I do nothing and just roll over. I have to justify that it's a good position. So I'm gonna say that actually my position is good and you know, you should not fight and you should adopt the tools. Shut up.